can see the rocks that I'm hitting right here. I could probably dial that Mega Live in a little more, but heck, I know. What would you got? got one. Baby, but hey, it's fun catching fish. Now I want you to go back and tell your mama that I'm looking for, okay? And you take your little butt back to that pile and get bigger. little spotted bass just a baby just the baby hey what's up y'all hey i'm about to get out of here man get off the lake uh cowboys getting ready to play here in the next hour or so but anyway i want to go over real quick um the target lock system i've been having it since uh first probably like first week or two when it first come out so I just hadn't really posted any videos about it. I just want to kind of get used to it, make sure everything is working properly. So anyway, I'm just going to go over that, let you check it out, man. Just in case, you know, you guys are interested in the Mega Live and Target Lock, I'll go over a brief demonstration of how it's working right now on my boat. So, okay guys, um, what you're looking at here is a rock pile out in front of me, um, about 40, 50 feet between, let's see, it started around 25 to about uh, 50 um, feet, well, let's see, yeah, okay, my forward range is set from, um, to 65 feet, and this rock pile is sitting between 25 and 50 right here and you can see that rock pile pretty much on my 360 right here that's what i'm targeting right now at this time i've taken the mega live off of my trolling motor shaft okay and i've put it on my uh on my target lock so that's what you're seeing this icon right here means that i'm locked on this structure um if you look right in front of my boat the target lock is right there so that arrow is pointed out north of me right now so basically i'm target locked um i know you're probably questioning if you didn't catch this but this icon is pointed in the wrong direction this icon is pointing in the wrong direction it drives me crazy so most folks so far have been cutting this boat icon off um because they they know that on a helix unit for some reason it doesn't work i reached out to hummingbird um, they're saying that it's a programming issue and that they're going to get this fixed in the next release at the time of this video I'm running the latest um, The latest release. Let me show you My software version is 2.76 so this is the latest right now at to date So the next release supposedly hummingbird is supposed to have this uh, taken care of so we'll see about that but anyway, uh, let's get back to it. So anyway, I'm hitting this rock pile, man. I'm gonna call a couple fish off here. You see that fish moving. Um, I don't have the greatest settings right now. This is in shallow water. This thing looks great in deeper water. I don't wanna mess with the settings because with this new update, um, I've been able to track my bait past 60 feet and it can go beyond, but for me, 60 is fine right now. So it's pretty awesome. So anyway, that's target lock. I'm in lock. The other options that you have here is um, you have the network basically you can uh, do a Minn Kota steer 
when you hit this button that's what i have it programmed on so as you can see right now the shaft that the mega live used to be sitting on is now in sync with that trolling motor shaft so when the um Minkota ultrax moves to the left to the right to the center the target lock stay in line with it you can see that what's going on now so um pretty cool setup here i finally got it all where i'm comfortable um doing a video about it um another option you have is sweep i don't use it much but you can actually do just bear with me here You can program that button to do sweep. And what basically that does, it just moves this trolling motor from left to right in a slow type fashion. Um, it's probably good when you're scanning, uh, maybe really good when you are um, when you have your, your map set up on your Lake Masters map set up where you can actually follow the, the contour lines. And as you follow the contour lines, you can use that sweep to kind of sweep back and forth until you find structure or you want to stop and fish or whatever the case may be. So I hadn't messed with that often. I'm not going to demonstrate that, but I think that's another cool thing that you can do as well on here. Anyway, guys, I'm going to give you a look. Peace. This is pointed forward. It's in my hand. I took it off the target lock to show you this. Because this is what's controlling. That compass is what's controlling this. Okay, I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna turn it back. Look, look at the look at the helix unit. I'm turning it back toward the motor. Now watch this. Look at that icon. See that icon? It's pointed forward. But this is pointed back. So I'm going to turn it around again. I thought I had it fixed until I came out here and dropped it in the water. I thought I had something backwards, but I don't. So when I hook it to this thing, it doesn't matter. Where I hook it and turn it around, it is not going to line up to what's happening on that graph. Here we go again. I'm gonna do this one more time.